Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Versa Slider 2. Out of the box, the Versa Slider 2 does not come with a battery, so you'll have to provide your own genuine GH4 battery. Aftermarket ones may work, although I don't guarantee it. This design is based around the genuine battery. As you can see, the battery locks in with this locking plate uh, that holds it firmly against the two electrical contacts. So to power it on, just simply place the battery into the battery holder, uh, making it snap into place, and press on the power button. As you can see, it is a toggle switch. So once you flick the toggle switch to the on position, a rainbow sequence will play in order to show that the Versa Slider 2 is initializing. Right after powering on the Versa Slider, the speed is locked, so even if you rotate the dial, nothing will happen. So in order to unlock it, press the dial once, and this will initialize the speed. So as you can see, when you press the button, when you press the dial, uh, the direction will change after unlocking it. So right, left, toggling it uh, every time you press it. And of course, to increase or decrease the speed, just simply rotate the dial, and uh, the Versa Slider 2 will go through two modes. Uh, the blue mode, which is designed for time lapses, and the red mode, which is designed for more dynamic shots where faster movement is required. And here is a demonstration of the range of speeds you can expect to get from the Versa Slider. In terms of camera movement, uh, the speed varies from 0.03mm per second to 50mm per second. Of course, if you're doing a multi-hour time lapse, having the LEDs on all the time will waste battery. So in order to turn them off, just use the toggle switch on the side. Finally, on the back of the Versa Slider, there is a hole uh, for adjusting the torque of the motor. Uh, it comes at a good uh, setting out of the box, so I don't recommend changing it at all, but if you want to, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver to do that. While using the Versa Slider at very high speeds, you may notice slight flickering in the LEDs. Uh, this is not a problem and it's nothing to be concerned about. Finally, just a quick update regarding the battery mounts that I've been promising for the Versa Slider, uh, the Canon is Sony one. There's been more delays because they're more difficult to make than I thought previously. Uh, so expect another couple of months. And plus I have to manufacture versus letters now, so that'll delay it further, unfortunately.